Hello. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And as you can see from the cover of the signature, I'm on 52 weeks of journaling, which means it's Thursday again already. So last week we did this build up college page and we put the leaves on. I'm still in collage and floral mood. So I've bought out this book. I love this book. I'll leave it there for a minute in case you happen to come across one in a charity shop or whatever. It has got some of the most beautiful floral pictures in it. And it's not glossy. It's not completely matte, but it's not glossy. Truly glossy. So they're great for cutting out. And I can't find one at the moment, but there is um, some hand drawing in here as well, which is also beautiful. So I did cut out this big one, which I thought was beautiful with a window behind those berries, but I wasn't sure if that was ideal for this project. So I chose another one. And to save time, I have already cut it into two inch squares. I've also got quite a lot of green leafy type die cuts. I've got some pink die cuts because it's mainly pink in this picture from the book. And I have got a couple of book pages just so as I can have a background behind my college piece. So I'm just going to take out, because I think I want to do a double page today. So that's last week's. I could actually just work on that one, couldn't I? And then I wouldn't have to have these beads in the way of me working. They're lovely in the book. But I don't really want them there while I'm working. So, here goes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a glue stick. And I'm going to put my book pages on. So I'm going to trim off the excess white. Don't need that. Although I do like to keep these for stamping on. Now, because it's obviously much too big, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a measure and bring that down that side. Hopefully that's now a good size to go on there. Okay. And then I'm going to trim the bottom. I actually cut that a little bit narrow. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it deliberately narrow um, there's no such thing as mistakes in my world just a change of plan so I'm going to go like that let's make sure that's straight in there and I'm going to make it narrower so it can sit Okay, and I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Right, put that out of the way for a minute because we want this one to be the same size. So, let's cut off this excess and the top like so. And I'm just going to line that up. Obviously, you could do it the simple way and use an old-fashioned thing called a ruler and actually measure it. But hey, it's not necessary. If it bothers you, then obviously use a ruler, use a knife, get a dead straight edge, 
but those of you that have been here before know that's not how I roll. So I'm just going to get some print stick or some glue stick on here. I have to be a little bit gentle with these old pages, make sure they don't tear on you. Oh, seagulls are having a whale of a time out there. You can hear them singing away. Is seagulls sing, do they? Do seagulls sing? Or do they just beg for food? Don't know. Right, put that one down. Right. So, where is my card? Just make sure that's nicely stuck. Got any raised areas like here? Just gonna get my nail under, get a little bit extra glue under the edge. And then do exactly the same on the other side. So just glue that up. got my daughter and grandchildren coming for lunch today so that's going to be lovely looking forward to that which is why I'm doing this this morning um, so that I'm free then to spend time with them okay so let's push those over and out the way for a minute, whoops, and then let's unpack this and make our picture. So we've got, got to work out where it goes, so it goes up, so one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it right across. Now, I hope, am I on screen? Because I've got a lot of stuff going on. Yes, I'm on screen. So, first of all, I'm going to take these three and I'm going to work out how across the page I want them. And make sure you see I haven't quite got enough height have I so if I come all the way to the bottom does that give me and make my gap smaller does that give me enough not quite so then I wonder if as the bottom row is semi boring because it's only greenery if what I want to do is put the top row in first and then I can trim the bottom rows, okay? So I'm gonna put them back up there. I'm gonna start with this top one. So I'm just gonna glue this up. And I'm gonna set him just up from our paper background. And I'm going to try and make sure that it's exactly halfway across the page. Obviously, we're going to have a nice stiff fold, but once we've pressed it in with our bone folder, it will be fine. I just think it's a great way to get a lot of colour onto a page very quickly. But also, I like the dissemination. Right, just need to work out. Now this one needs to cut across there. So, let's... That's not very straight, is it? You all know I'm rubbish at cutting straight lines. There you go, and then that one will go on there. should really have a, a glue book here, but hey-ho. 
Okay. So that's that line. And then I need to work out how far over I want to go. Because the question is, do I want it really close like that? Do I want to, no, I think I'm going to put it close and try and keep the white lines about the same distance. I'm sorry if there's background noise. It's the summer holidays and the children are out playing. So you do hear them riding up and down on their bikes, etc. So really simple stuff I'm doing here, nothing crazy. And for some reason, somebody is too lazy to get out of their car and knock on someone's front door. So they're just tooting. I don't know when people got so lazy. Or noisy, to be honest. There you go. There's that one. Now obviously we need to trim this one again. So line that up and trim it. Oh, I've lost, I've lost my trim line there. And put that one on there. Doing it sideways now doesn't really matter, does it? As long as it all lines up. That one is a bit crooked. There we go. So we've got one on this page, half and half, and then we're going to come over and we're going to do the other side. Same sort of spacing, like so. You see now you can see the picture all coming back together. When I do things like this, it reminds me of my stained glass days because we used to take giant sheets of glass, cut them into small pieces and then join them back with strips of lead. So, and obviously patchwork as well. You take a large piece of fabric, you chop it into smaller pieces, and you put it back together again. Almost seems crazy, but there you go. Line that up and then that one will go in there. So we've got all of our pieces stuck down now. So make sure that's lined up. Okay. Got all of our pieces stuck down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my die cuts now obviously if you want to I'm not going to but if you want to you could do some color splashes or paint or whatever in the background to tie the colors in even further but I am just going to take my die cuts and I'm going to basically continue the greenery on the picture and on to the book page. I'm just going to create my own little sort of wilderness here, something like that. Um, obviously we don't have to use them all, just use what we think. I always cut out extras just to sort of make sure. Bring that one up a little bit. Put this one maybe or at the bottom like that. You see, I'm sorry, noise in the street. 
and then I'm going to put one flower there so let's stick these down so we know where we are and what's happening <clears throat> so I'm just going to turn this oh we've got a helicopter as well now it's all happening this morning get some glue on here Obviously, if you haven't got die cuts, you could just, or I could have just, cut out more flowers from the book. But those of you who've been here before know that fussy cutting is one of my least favourite jobs. So that's why I do quite a lot of die cutting. I just need to find a poke. There's a couple of bits here that haven't quite come out, so just poke them out, easy enough to do. She says, that one for some reason is a little bit harder. Just pull that off. Okay, get some, oh, I still miss one. There we go. And then I'm gonna glue this one. So we're creating our own little woodland forest. Poke these extra bits out of this one. And I think I'm actually going to put that one up there. So it's starting now to actually become part of the original picture, not just extra background to fill the page as it were. Okay, so put that on. There. The only thing I would do is be careful of that fold line. You obviously do not want to be um, going on that fold line because that will just make your life very difficult. Because when you fold it, it will start to come unglued, which is just annoying. So. There you go, quiet time while I concentrate on my gluing. Got that one. We're adding even further dimension now because these leaves appear to be in front of the flowers at the back. Let's poke this one out because again for some reason it's not quite come out. It went through the machine. We'll get our glue on there. Okay, whoops. Now, I only had to hand the one green card. Obviously, if you've got multi greens or it would look lovely, a little bit more realistic maybe, because obviously we know that all plants are not the same green. Maybe even a bit of brown. Certain plants dying off, becoming out of season. And then I'm going to put probably only half of this one. So let's pull that out, poke these out. I'm 
Okay. So, let's get this going. Like so. I'm bringing in a bit because I don't want to lose too much of it off the edge of the page, do I? Okay, I think that's enough of my green. Whoops, my glue's falling over. So now I'm going to bring my pink flowers in. I've got a couple of poke outs to do here as well. So, having poked them out, exactly the same procedure, you know, as I said earlier. This is really simple stuff. It's not rocket science. I just think it's quite effective, you know, and it gets quite a lot of colour on your page fairly quickly. And I mean, I've chosen just to cut out one type of flower compared to the different types of leaves and only in the one pink. There's no reason for you not to have cut multi pinks and multi different you know flowers that's just where my mind was when i was doing it whoops got the one at the bottom i always feel like these should be yellow they remind me of daisies there were some beautiful daisies in that bouquet my uh, daughter dropped off last week no the week before now wow time really is going okay i'm gonna put that one in there and press him down okay and again i think i'm gonna do what i did with that leaf in uh, i'm gonna put only a little tiny bit of that one and I'm going to put it probably click there we'll lose mind you that's the one where it's overlapped anyway so that I think be a good idea I'm going to pop that one just in there so we'll pull that bit off and get some glue on him I say it nearly every video, this is a tacky glue bottle, but to be honest, it's been topped up and refilled many times, so it is probably actually only PVA that's in here now. Okay, and I'm then going to put my last one. even lower I think so there now I you all may have noticed I'm trying really hard to fight my odd number thing um, it's a bit ridiculous and I've got to try and get over it so being really good and I'm putting four of these flowers on I'm going to line that up to that leaf there. Clean my hands off because I'm a little bit over glued. Put them over there, out of the way. And then give it a little shake. Right, now I'm obviously going to trim off the overhanging edges. And we've got a very slight one on this side there, like so, okay? And then let's fold him in half. And use my card. A really good press down. There you go. It's 
So that is what I've done for this week's page. And I'm, I'm very happy with it. You could obviously put some words, some, you know, words for thoughts. And I do use these quite a lot. As you can see, it's running out now. Um, I'm just looking. But, of course, you can cut words from books and all sorts of things. Um... I'm gonna go my my heart My heart, how it see clear hope. There you go. That is my double page for this week's part of my 52 weeks of journal making. I hope you've enjoyed that, found some inspiration, get you crafting away. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye for now.